Hi, this is Melissa from Blockchain WTF, and today we are going to be talking about how the blockchain is going to affect the real estate industry. Last year, the Office of the Cook County Recorder of Deeds participated in a pilot project that explored the barriers to adopting blockchain and the potential gains from overcoming these barriers. So you might be thinking, why is this important to me? Well, whether you're a renter, a real estate agent, or you want to own a portion of commercial real estate, the blockchain is going to change how all of these transactions occur. Current issues in the real estate industry today are bureaucracy, mistakes in public record, lack of transparency, fraud, <laughs> fees, and the amount of time and the amount of third parties that are involved in a closing on a property. Bureaucracy and mistakes in public records. Anybody who's visited the DMV knows that government offices are terrible and you will be there all day, so pack a lunch. Uh, <laughs> the assessor's office and the courthouse you register your deed with to prove title are no different. Some counties aren't even at the point where their information is available online yet. So whether it's details about where the property lines are, the type of zoning, or the title information, mistakes have happened, and when they do, they are expensive. When you sell a property, you transfer title to a new owner. A title represents the legal ownership of the property. The deed is the legal documentation that transfers title from one person to the other. You have to make sure title is free and clear of encumbrances. And there's actually a whole industry based on insuring against these title issues. Title insurance protects you from flaws or gaps in the real property title, but it's a weird type of insurance. It's the only type you have to buy to prevent you from public record errors. You want a warranty deed when you transfer title, as that verifies the grantor promises the title is clear of any claims. So even if you have a warranty deed, you still buy title insurance in the case there were mistakes from previous owners. Loopholes in local laws allow property owners to not report valid claims against a property. Having information about a property and who actually has title on the blockchain will save people a lot of time and money doing title searches and might even eliminate the need for title insurance in the future. Once you know, we take public recording away from government agencies and give it to a decentralized, censorship-resistant public platform like the blockchain. The other exciting part is that improvements to that property, permits, related loans, and even construction companies that completed the work could be embedded in the data block for that property. As real estate is one of the best ways to build wealth, there are some creative scammers that try to get in on the action. While there are quite a few types of real estate fraud that take place involving wire transfers, many real estate companies have formed recently with tokens used to monetize this transition. But one of the most impressive is Proppy. Proppy has a global strategy to help use blockchain technology and smart contracts to help with the fees, time, and especially fraud that can accompany any real estate deal, but especially the ones across borders. It's stressful enough when you're buying property if you live near it and you can actually go to the inspections and go to the closing in person, but it's very different if you live out of state or out of the country. Escrow companies have been reaching out to Proppy to help prevent future fraud cases that are not covered by title insurance. When you purchase a property, you deal with a lot of third parties that don't know or trust each other. The only assurance they have is the fact that they've gotten a license from a local or national regulator. And if they violate anything ethically, they could be fined or lose their license. In one transaction, you might deal with the buyer's agent, the seller's agent, the lawyers, the title insurance company, the inspectors, the escrow office, and the bank if you're getting a loan. The whole process is like getting a pap smear on your personal information. So how do smart contracts work? Smart contracts allow individuals involved to be anonymous but places a contract on the public ledger. A triggering event like an expiration date and a strike price are hit and the contract executes itself according to the coded terms. Regulators can use the blockchain to understand the activity in the market while maintaining the privacy of the parties involved. So there's still room for error in the information being entered into the smart contract, but this helps cut down the human error, which happens in paperwork. When I bought property, my lawyer didn't even spell my name correctly on my contracts. Like, what am I paying you for? So this is gonna help the industry a lot. Having this information available to everyone while protecting the privacy of people buying is huge. Currently, there's a gatekeeper called the MLS, the Multiple Listing Service. This is a database that realtors pay a yearly fee to be a part of, and then they get access to the listings being bought and sold. The MLS then partners with sites like Zillow and Trulia for residential properties and LoopNet and CoStar for commercial ones. If you want your property to be seen by others and realtors, you usually pay an agent about 6% of the sales price to sell and list your property on the MLS. 
The blockchain will allow records to be available to everyone. The current price, what the unit sold for, even information about utilities. And that's really important even if you're renting because older buildings, windows tend to leak the heat in the winter, so sometimes your $1,500 price range might become $1,600 or $1,700 in the winter months once the heating bill comes in. Blockchain technology and smart contracts may eliminate the use of realtors or at least reduce their role and the fees of the transaction. That's really bad for realtors like me. I just renewed my license. <laughs> but it will make the process a lot easier for people that want to just do peer-to-peer -peer transactions. Another huge way that blockchain is changing real estate is crowdfunding and offering tokens that represent fractional ownership of real property. Companies have tried to crowdfund real estate before, but the issue is always, how do you deal with the liquidity of the ownership? If I buy a house with another person and they don't want to sell in a year and I don't want to hold the property, I either have to buy them out or I have to wait until that person wants to sell. And depending on the price of the property, I might not have enough money to buy them out. Having tokens allow the owners to trade the tokens for fiat or other properties within the portfolio, offering a lot more liquidity with a lot less liability. Real estate's a great way to build generational wealth, but until recently, it was only if you could afford to get past the gatekeepers. Banks have debt to income ratios you have to fall within, and most still want 20% down payments, even though programs like FHA loans and first time home buyer programs will allow as little as 3.5% down. There are creative ways to fund deals, but most people don't know how to go about this, and they don't know any private lenders, and those deals do carry their own risks. So, new companies are having ICOs, initial coin offerings, backed by real estate. There are certain projects, like a 13th century crumbling castle in France that was bought by 13,000 strangers online, and they're now restoring the castle. Proppy, which we've mentioned before, is focused on international real estate deals. Initially, Proppy's registry will mirror the official land registry records, but ultimately, their vision is that jurisdictions will adopt their ledger as the record so that official transfer of property and the property registry constitutes legal transfer with them. Wall Street Journal and other mainstream media outlets have been reporting on their vision, so it looks like they're making progress on their lofty goals. Atlant launched March 2018, and they're working with partnering with government blockchains as well. They will also offer peer-to-peer -peer rental services, competing with Airbnb. Uh, the property managers will take care of everything, and in return, they will take a cut of the money collected. If the investors are ever unhappy with how the company is managing their building, they can start a vote with the other token holders and replace them, which is really great. Imbrex, formerly known as Rex MLS, is a global community-owned real estate portal and real estate data marketplace. Users earn rewards for participating data and can monetize their information through advertising and selling through Imbrex's online marketplace. On Imbrex, users are paid for curating spam and are keeping the database clean and up-to-date, which is one of the issues the industry currently has when people call, is this rental available? Nope. <laughs> In addition, users can add to the available information stack by creating special feeds like comparable properties, recent sales, tax, zoning, anti-spam, and then sell this information to other users in the network. RentBerry wants to leverage blockchain technology to ensure seamless rental experience and help tenants unfreeze millions of dollars tied up in rental deposits by allowing the RentBerry community members to become co-signers. They are working to improve the current process with an open and transparent application process, instant rent payments, internationally valid tenant and landlord scores. Blockchain will allow truly digitized property ownership, exchange, and data. Vlox RE is the vertical platform that enables blockchain applications, giving real estate stakeholders more transparency, liquidity, and profitability. What is interesting about them is that they are based off the Bitcoin blockchain using colored coins instead of the Ethereum ERC20 tokens that most other platforms are using. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, throw them down in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and send this to somebody in the real estate industry so they know what's coming.